session. So today we're with the fabulous chef Imani Nicole, and she's going to teach us how to cook a meal because you know we can't cook. Actually, I can cook. I can do it. My birthday was cooking. I need to have a cooking competition. With it. We I should too. So tell us some, something about your cooking. Well, um, I specialize in seafood. Everybody always asks me what's your specialty, and I don't like seafood. I feel like I can change you know, your perspective on seafood because you know, I don't eat seafood really. So maybe I can change your perspective on eating seafood. Yeah. And to get it to not to stick, I always add a dollop of oil. Just a little stick. And then give it a little stir so. Now the pasta is boiling, that'll take about 15 to 20 minutes. And while that's going, we're gonna start our Alfredo sauce. So I have a pot here, and we're gonna put it on low medium heat because we do not want the cream to boil. I'm going to use about a half of a quart and then I'm going to put that aside and over here we have our seasons. I have Cajun seasoning since it's Cajun Alfredo. I have the garlic powder. I have the grated Parmesan cheese and I have the shredded Parmesan cheese. First I always add my Cajun seasoning. And typically, I just, how I tell people to measure it, I just sprinkle it evenly on top. Take away, you can always add more. The same with the garlic powder. Black pepper, and this is ground black pepper. And we're gonna take our whisk and whisk it. I always add my salt last because when things boil, as they reduce, they get salty. So you don't need much salt in this because the Cajun season has 
a lot of different spices to it. We're gonna let that come to a simmer before we start adding our cheeses because we want our cheeses, I mean the cream to be hot so the cheese can melt. And while that's going, we're gonna get our garnishes together. I washed all of these. We have curly parsley, we have green onions, and we have tomato. And this is just for the end to sprinkle on top to make it look curly. Let's cut the edge off the raggedy end, as I call it. We don't want that in our food. And to cut the scallions, I just bunch it up like this. And I do small strips. You always want to hold your knife like this, not like this, not like this. You want to have a good grip on it. So you take it, you pinch it, and then you palm it so you can get the roll with your boat. <laughs> That's about enough for the amount of pasta I make it. As you can see, it's very fine. Set that aside. Here we have our curly parsley. We're gonna use about one fourth of it. And we're gonna do a cutting technique called chop fine minced. So at first, you just cut it, do it, give it a rough chop so it can be easier for you to break it down when you try to mince it. And the best way to mince something is to hold your knife like this and you're gonna do like this so then we just go back and forth we just keep going to chopped all right minced curly parsley we have our tomato and to cut this tomato i'm gonna slice it Thin slices. We're gonna do a small dice. This will be gone. And when you're cutting, you always want your fingers like this. You always want to make a claw. So, gotcha. So we're gonna set our garnishes to the side. Here's I always tell people to wash their protein because you never know where this chicken was at before it got into your hands and if you feel it, it's kind of slimy and you don't want to be eating that. Alright, so this chicken is not that thick but it's going to take a while to cook so I prefer to just slice it in half, which I'm going to butterfly it. So all I want to do is lay the chicken flat. Hold my hand right here and I'm gonna cut down the middle evenly. So there we have two even cuts. So really all I do is season my chicken with Cajun season and a little salt, that's all you need. I use kosher salt. This is the only salt that I use while I'm cooking. It just gives you like more of a crust on your proteins, especially if like you're cooking steaks, it's good for that. You don't actually get like that crust on there, so. You don't need it much because the Cajun season, like I said before, this has a lot of seasoning. And last but not least, I add a little oil to coat the chicken. Leave that right there till it's time to cook our chicken. We're gonna wash our hands. We're gonna come back to our Fredo sauce that's still cooking. Turn it down a little bit. And while that's still heating, we're gonna go and rinse our noodles off. And I'm gonna show you guys the technique to not making your noodles stink. Get your strainer. Make sure your water is cold. So when it's cold, you just go ahead and The key to not making your noodle stick is rinse them in cold water. That's Some it. Wow. <laughs> because as it sits in the hot water, it's going to continue to cook. So the water, cold water, stops the cooking. I'm waiting 
before to use it, just add a dollop of oil. Your noodles can sit there for an hour and it's still gonna be like this. Yay. Yep. Now to our Alfredo sauce. So now, as you can see, it's steaming. It didn't boil, because if it boiled, it would have overboiled. It would have that. That that's hot, we're gonna add our grated Parmesan cheese. And for a full quart of heavy cream, I usually add about a cup of Parmesan cheese. And then we're gonna add some shredded parmesan cheese. I add about a fourth of a cup. You wanna keep whisking it because then it'll, if you don't, it'll start to stick to the bottom, especially the shredded cheese. And as you can see, it's getting thicker. If you can do this and this do like a clean swipe, that means it's good, but it's still not thick enough. I'm gonna wait. I'll let that simmer for a little while longer. Yes, I usually do medium high heat, fat high heat. That's how you get your color on your protein when you're cooking. So yeah. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of oil. Hi, I never knew you needed a plate. Yep, hot food goes on hot. I mean, I do, but we just use ours out the dishwasher. And the cream is getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there. And for a little color, I'm going to add a little bit more Cajun seasoning just to give it our color that we want. So this Cajun will be to know. So add a little bit more. Let's check it. See how it's doing. It's getting there. Boneless, yeah, this breast. is boneless skinless chicken breast. And then you can see, as you can see, this side is getting darker than this side because the heat is probably higher, hotter on this side. So just turn your thing. All right, and as you can see, this is starting to cook because I see the white line halfway in my chicken breast. So I'm going to turn it, and that's perfect. Color. So to prepare the Alfredo. So if it gets too thick, you can always add more heavy cream. You can always add it to um, loosen it up a little bit, but that's why I always stop like halfway because I know it's gonna get thicker and you don't want to get Do this, which is not done because it's still very firm. So that's how you know it's not done. It should spring back to you. That's how you know if it's done or not. This pan is warming up. We're gonna add dollop of oil, just a little bit. So your new you can always pick it up. Don't be afraid to touch it for your part. As you can see, it's getting there. Now always give it a little bit of black pepper. And this, at this point, is really just season to taste. So like I said, you always add more. I just kind of do a little sprinkle. And a little bit of Cajun seasoning just for the color. And at this point, you will know if you need more Alfredo sauce. So I'm gonna add a little bit more because as it sits, it kind of dries. The noodles kind of soak up the Alfredo sauce. Your noodles are ready to play. You have your chicken breast. And it's juicy, as you can tell, because yeah. it's cutting straight through it.
We're gonna get our plates out the oven. I have hot hands. Let me try this at home, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I always use a tile. Enjoy! 